does put a smile on my face. Hey. Oh my God, man. And it starts to burn the steel off. Hey guys, I'm the Hacksmith, and on our channel we take fictional ideas from comics, movies, and video games and make real, working prototypes. Some of our most popular projects have been Marvel projects, like our original electromagnetic Captain America shield, his new Wakandan one, a real working Iron Man helmet, and I've even made a 114 pound Thor hammer out of tungsten. <laughs> and of course, Stormbreaker too. Bring. Me. Now, a few months ago, Riley asked me if he could try making the double-edged Thanos sword. Naturally, I said yes, and we're doing it right this time. We're going to be using real knife steel for the blades and trying to keep the weight reasonable enough that you can actually still swing it. Let's see how it goes. But before we get to that, this video is sponsored by Turo. I don't know about you guys, but I've never had a good experience renting a car. In fact, when I visited Gravity in Atlanta earlier this year, I ended up waiting almost an hour for my car, and there's a big mess up dropping it off, which almost made me miss my flight home. Well, Turo is the answer. It's a peer-to-peer -peer car sharing platform where you can choose the best car for you, typically at a cost much lower than traditional rental services. You get to skip the line at the rental counter and find local cars owned by people just like you and me. Borrow online at Turo.com or download the app for both iOS and Android. It's super simple to use. Just pick the car you want, enter your trip details, and use my coupon code HACK15 to save 15 bucks. And then, I've always wanted to drive a Model X. Available in over 5,500 cities across the US, Canada, Germany, and the UK, you can get the car you want whenever and wherever you want it. Plus, with delivery options, it'll be waiting for you wherever you need it. Download the Turo mobile app today and use my code HACK15 to save $15 off at checkout. It's good timing. It was good timing? So for the sword design, we're going to take a reference image of a Thanos statue and just draw around it. For the size, we gotta scale it down to my height because in reality it's supposed to be 8 foot 4, I'm gonna make it 6 foot 2. After that, we gotta design the details separately and then mirror it, and it's ready to send to the plasma. So now that the design is done, we can cut it out on our Maverick CNC plasma cutter provided to us by Elite Metal Tools. You start cutting, press start. All right, so our parts are done. It's been about 15 minutes, and now we can take them off the laser, and just gotta wash all the sand off. Came out way better than the plasma cut parts, just because the laser is so much more precise. Okay, so now that we have all of the parts cut out, we've gotta weigh every part and make sure that both sides are actually the same weight so that when we put the blade together, it's perfectly balanced. As all things should be. <laughs> okay, 145 grams. 145 grams. 1.16 kilograms. So for the blade section, we're actually using 1084 high carbon steel. Now this is different than mild steel, and when we weld it, we need to preheat it first so that we don't thermally shock it and we get a nice even finish. Nice. Riley went home for the weekend, so I'm taking over. I'm Jairus from Jairus of All Master of None, and today we're gonna do some chemistry together so that we can get this sword ready, metal ready for the sword. Let's play with some acid. First of all, Riley messed up a little bit. He welded these pieces together before he removed the mill scale. But the mill scale has to come off of here for us to be able to do anything to this metal. And it's really difficult to remove. The best way to get it off is to dissolve it. And you can dissolve it very easily with different types of acids. I'm gonna use muriatic acid, which is hydrochloric acid mixed with water. And you can see the reaction happen when I put this acid on. See how quickly this acid is burning through the mill scale on the steel. It's made a definitive difference. If I leave it on there for more than just a few seconds, I'll have perfectly clean steel underneath. I'm just gonna wipe it off and put some new acid on to finish burning this mill scale off. And I'm doing this outside because this process is not a complete reaction and sometimes it gives off chlorine gas, which is really not good for you to breathe. Now that one's fully treated and done, which only took a couple of minutes, 
I just need to do three more of them. Time to put the two parts of the blade together. I'm gonna to slip this into the exact right position so that I can start welding it. Time to weld. Anytime you're welding long, thin metal and you, you try to run a bead all at once, it will warp it. So I need to do this in stages with little stitches and let it cool in between because I need to keep the heat balanced as all things should be in this steel so that it doesn't warp all over the place. Almost there. All right, the swords are all cooled off. Obviously I cleaned this one up so you can see the welds. That one's still dirty, but they're both fully cooled down now. And... Yes. Hey Riley. Why'd you touch my swords? Well, before you left for the weekend, you told me that I could work on this project. I didn't tell you anything before I left for the weekend. Well, I did the fun part. I guess you can do the grinding now. Have fun. All right. We decided we're gonna have ourselves a little grinder race. Angle grinder race, that is. We have our respective locations set up and we're about to do this. We need to clean the surface and put the bevels on. Ready, set, go. Okay, okay, okay. You win! Perfect! <laughs> ah, I just finished. Riley got done about 10 minutes before I did, but mine's done. There's a couple little things that need fixed, re-welded. Let's look at his. He didn't gouge as deep on his. His lines aren't as straight. His surface isn't evenly cleaned. And he doesn't have these bevel areas between the changes on the blade, those lines right there. So, I mean, in my mind, I won. But he did finish before me, so. I don't know, man, I'm pretty comfy over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've got both blades done, and I think that it's time to actually break some stuff with them, because they are feeling mighty solid, they're sharp. Let's get to it. This one goes out to all those keyboard warriors. Oh, this guy is sharp. Who even eats fruit nowadays? Oh, that went right through. You're a pain in the glass. Riley, what? Ah! <laughs> My turn. <laughs> All right, so I'd say that these swords are pretty tough, but they need to look a lot prettier because the Thanos sword is an ornate sword. Time to do some fancy stuff. Fancy stuff time. Now come with me outside. What's out back, Riley? What's out back is we're painting the aluminum side pieces. tasty. <laughs> All right, so now we need to cut some slots into our handle piece so that we can put the blades into the handle, weld it all up, and it's going to be super strong. All right, piece is done. We got all our slots made, so let's join the swords together. Jesus! That's heavy. It's a sword now. Yeah. Oh. Time to put the second blade on. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, man. <laughs> How much does it weigh? 29 pounds. Way under budget. We can put more heavy things on it now. <laughs> to put the finishing touches on, we need to do some detail work. So we're going to do some sort of saltwater etching thing to put these patterns into the metal. But I don't know how to do that. 
but I do, because I've done it before. What's going on here is we're putting salt water and electricity on the steel and it makes it go away. You have sodium chloride, which is the salt and iron, and you put electricity on it. And just like with electricity, something magic happens and it makes the reaction occur super fast and the steel goes away. You're basically rapidly rusting the steel. It's kind of crazy. And you just need a DC power supply and apply 32.7 volts or something around there like we are, and it starts to burn the steel off. But if you're ever gonna do this, be very safe. You have to either do it outside or in an extremely well ventilated area. It's bad for you. This is going. We'll be back when this is finished after a short message from our sponsors. Hi, are you scared of clowns? I know I am, but if you are too, make sure to call 1-800-SCAREDY-CLOWN to talk to one of our clown fear specialists today. Bye. It's done, and now it's time to clean it off and see the final product. That is the metal that has been removed with salt water. This worked out just like it's supposed to. This is actually burned down into the metal, so this blade can be polished and that pattern will stay there. One side of one blade is done, three more to go. All right, so up until this point, Riley's been able to make all the parts for the Thanos sword in-house using our own equipment. Unfortunately, the handle guard for the Thanos sword is a bit too big for our CNC machine. So we're gonna be using one of our new partners, Protolabs, to help us manufacture this part. Now I first used Protolabs years ago when I was working as an engineer. It's a rapid prototyping shop that can produce 3D printed parts, CNC milled parts, sheet metal parts, and even injection molded parts. And their standard delivery time is just three business days. It's also super simple to use. You just go to their website, you upload your part, you select the process you want to use to make the part, and then you get an automated quote which you can customize, and it does a manufacturing analysis to let you know if your part is actually going to be able to be made properly. So let's see how they actually make the part. Here's our package from Proto Labs. This should be the final pieces of the Thanos sword, and then we'll be ready to actually put it together or break stuff. Oh my, oh my gosh. That is some impressive machining. If you wanna take a look at that. Oh, that is so ridiculously pretty. Oh, there's our spacers, individually ziplocked. Thanks to Proto Labs for providing these parts. You can check them out at protolabs.com or check the link in the description below. All right, now let's just do a quick test fit and see how this looks. That is a really, really nice looking sword. So now we gotta go paint it. We'll drill some holes and get this thing finished. And then we're gonna break stuff. All right, so I've got these painted in a really nice gold color. It's gonna contrast really well with the rest of the sword. Watch this part. This is the part where it doesn't fit. It fits. All right, first side's done, so let's do the other side, and then... Yeah. Boom. It's finally done, and now it's time to present it to him. But this <laughs> does put a smile on my face. All right, Riley did a fantastic job making the Infinity Blade. Now, we just have to test it. You ready? Ah! 
All right, if you guys want to see what happens when we hit a Captain America shield with the Infinity Blade, you're going to have to make sure that you're subscribed with notifications turned on. The test video is coming soon. Big thank you to Turo for sponsoring this video. Download Turo today and use the code HACK15 to save $15 off at checkout. Thanos does not drink weak alcohol. Huge thank you to Thanos. Thanos.